and go. So good afternoon, my name is Michael Hanna. I'm the Commandant of Cadets with the California Cadet Corps Program at the Alta Schools. And I'm here today with Mr. Goyette to speak a little bit about uh, the new upcoming philosophy curriculum. Excellent, uh, thanks Mike for joining us today. Uh, first question is, in our Altus, Philo Altus philosophy course, we studied uh, Plato's Allegory of the Cave. In what ways has your experience in the military helped you escape the cave? That is, uh, how has your military service exposed you to experiences and ways of thinking that have helped you understand your own life with greater clarity and purpose? Okay, so I think one of the things that the military does um, is ingrains in you this sense of pride and, and uh, ability. So when I joined the Marine Corps, it, we were instructed, obviously, in all uh, basic military knowledge, but they also taught us the history of the Marine Corps, the legacy of the Marine Corps, um, and kind of introduced this concept that Marines were invincible, um, that we can go anywhere, we can do anything, and, uh, and we're the elite of the elite. And I think what that does is when someone ingrained, or, or they build that in you and they tell you that day after day after day, um, at some point you're gonna believe it and then through the training you actually accomplish things that you never thought were possible. So not only are you hearing it from other people, but you're also doing things you've never done before. And you walk away from, from boot camp at least with this um, sense of purpose and pride and uh, membership in, in the Marine Corps. And I think for me what that did as far as a greater sense of clarity and purpose in life um, is I don't really back down from any challenges. I see them as, as opportunities to, uh, you know, to learn from or to move forward in life. And so it, I think when they taught me that I shouldn't stop or I shouldn't look at anything as a, as a hindrance and, and that Marines continually move forward, we don't retreat, that I took that into my own life and just kind of pushed through every challenge, everything that came up. Um, I was able to, to overcome it or learn from it. Either way, I never, I never turned away from it. And so I think that gives me more purpose in my life because I have uh, this understanding that I'm gonna advance through life and I can kind of tackle on any opportunity or any challenge that comes my way. And it's just gonna make me grow stronger and stronger. Excellent. I was thinking in the, the idea of this, the cave being uh, this, kind of a pit the way Plato describes it the prisoners are kind of submerged underground and I think of the metaphor in a way of you know the Marine Corps in instilling that sense of pride in a way um, pulls you out of those doldrums that people can sometimes uh, find themselves in where they just don't believe in themselves and the, they almost hold themselves back or stand in their own way so in the in the kind of extended metaphor from the philosophy course uh, the Marine Corps can sign up build you up sometimes to a, to such a degree where they're inflating your ego right, or, right. Uh, but you're by giving you that power you encounter things and you push yourself to do things that you some many of us just wouldn't um, think we could take on right so that's right and I think a, a big part of it to just to add on to that is that um, a lot of the training you don't know what to expect and you don't know if you're gonna be able to do it and then you end up accomplishing it so it's kind of like just throw yourself out there take that leap of faith and, uh, and you work through it. Perfect, excellent. The next question I want to discuss with you is, uh, in our exploration of a connection between ancient Greek philosophy and cognitive behavioral therapy, we consider that how someone chooses to think about what has happened to them can greatly change how they respond to the particular event. That is, how we interpret our experiences can influence how we respond to, respond to them. Uh, with this in mind, how, ca how has your military training helped you take on life's hardships uh, how have you uh, passed this positive can-do attitude onto your cadets? Yeah, so I think this ties in very well with, with the previous question. Um, it's, uh, you know, any challenge that's thrown at you, you're kind of taught just to, to move forward with it and deal with it as they come. Adapt and overcome is what they say in the yeah. military. So that's kind of what we did. And I think I, I took that, you know, outside of the military life in my own personal life. Um, in regards to students and cadets, I've noticed that yeah, when they kind of when they accept a challenge, they don't know what the outcome is going to be. They um, they're very hesitant to accept those challenges, but they find that if they just work through it, by the end of it, they realize, oh, that's that wasn't that bad. And so, in retrospect, when they're looking back and they realize that they were able to accomplish these things that they never thought possible, it only boosts them up even more so that they can take on the next challenge at the next 
competition or the next summer camp or whatever the next event is. Um, so I think I think just one of those wins, you know, gets the ball rolling, and then all of a sudden it snowballs into this uh, very confident, you know, person that takes pride in themselves and is eager to take on more and more challenges. Yeah, it was. Uh, I I can kind of tie into that a little bit with some of my experiences in scouting. Boy Scouts are there be these long backpacking sessions. You'd right. be out there for a week or so and. You're, you know, I know the cadets do kind of some uh, survival training. Right. Yep. And I can imagine for some of the kids, like, oh, I don't know how this is going to go. There are a lot of doubts about whether they're going to break down out there, maybe right. able to survive it. I'm sure you have your, your cadets that are gung ho from the get go, but you also have those students that have some questions about, you know, I'm going to be away from my video games, I'm going to be away from my phone and my family. How's this going to go? Do you ever have any cadets that walk away from the experience like really changed? Yeah, actually, all of them. So, the summer camp is our biggest event. And, uh, and they all think, you know, maybe by the second day, oh, I don't want to be here. Why did I sign up for this? Uh, but we coach them through it. And by the end of camp, they're all loving it. They're, they don't want to leave. They want to return. And I think it's because they, their concept of what they can do has changed. They've made it through the training. Um, at first, they're hesitant. They're scared. They don't know what to expect. But they take day by day, activity by activity. And by the end of it, they, they have that confidence and they're loving it. Excellent. I was, that kind of ties right in with the moment in the allegory of the story where, you know, the prisoners brought out of the cave uh, by the garden. He's looking around and he's overwhelmed by all this reality, this right. new reality he's taking in and just wants to kind of go back to the darkness, right. to the comfort of what you know. And then you realize, wait a second, I can't go back. I've, I've, not only have I changed, I love this new person that I am, this new reality that I've discovered. Um, exactly. Great. Uh, so one other thing, one other topic on uh, leadership here. Um, so leadership can often mean guiding others through difficult situations, even when we don't have a clear vision ourselves. We might think of emergency situations or people who are dealing with a mental illness. Mm -hmm. In our uh, Altus philosophy course, uh, Soren Kierkegaard, one of the philosophers, describes an idea of taking a leap of faith, which you mentioned earlier. Oh, right when uh, life presents us with a great de uh, decision or conflict. In reflecting on your old leadership training, uh, can you think of a time, active duty or in civilian life, when you relied on your beliefs or core principles when the road ahead was unclear? Yeah, I mean, there, there's been a few times. <laughs> um, I think when you're, when you're faced with a challenge, um, you, you kind of pause and you think about how to approach that challenge and a lot of the time for me it's been well what are my guiding principles what are my core values and from the Marine Corps side of things they teach honor courage and commitment so a big part of that for me was just honor doing the right thing having integrity and um, and so a lot of the times I find myself in this situation I don't know what to do I don't know how to react but I trust in my integrity I trust in the the core values of the Marine Corps and I trust in my uh, personal core values to kind of guide me through that murky water, that questionable situation, and uh, and and luckily I've been fortunate enough where we always come out the other side, um, uh, you know, uh, on a positive note. Um, I can give you an example. There was one time where I was in training. This is for Marine Combat Training. We had a, a fellow Marine who received a really um, depressing letter from home and uh, and was having time struggling. Um, deep coping with that and so um, I was placed to watch him for, for I think it was a three-day period where I had to guide him through the next three days of training and, and so we're both going through the same training I don't know what to expect of training and I don't know what to expect of him yeah. um, but I had to kind of coach him through it I was with them you know every minute of those three days and they didn't give me a guidebook on on how to deal with the situation they just trusted it that I could kind of deal with it that in my leadership ability and the core values that the Marine Corps taught me and I stuck true to those because that's what I, I felt um, and sure enough we both graduated from from MCT and then he wrote me letters you know thanking me afterwards um, he, he finally was in a better place so sometimes you don't know what to expect and you do have to take that leap of faith uh, but trusting in those core values can help guide uh, guide you through those situations yeah I can imagine the uh, because the that you know with that leap of faith people think think they focus on the leap part like you're kind of right. dangling out there but uh, you, you kind of know where you're falling that you have uh, 
kind of that net of that that um, that background uh, that you've you've through your training and through the your belief system that okay at least with the uh, with with that mindset I'm gonna be able I'm not gonna break down the situation I'm gonna be able right. to keep stay calm collected and help this person through their situation and and seek out help myself if I need it if and, I need it exactly yeah. exactly great um, excellent that's good I'm gonna pause it there.